here's another percentage one <clears throat> but you don't really need the percentage so it kind of it's in there but you don't need it 30 355 milliliter or 12 fluid ounce can of Diet Dr. Pepper contains 55 milligrams of sodium that's 2% of the daily recommended allowance how many gallons of Diet Dr. Pepper must be consumed in order to ingest 1.0 pounds of sodium so like anything start off with the units of our answer what do we have units of our answer oh do 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 what does it say how many gallons of Diet Dr. Pepper so we know the units of our answer are gallons of Diet Dr. Pepper okay. what do we know well we know we have there a can has a volume of 12 fluid ounces look at this right here here's a conversion factor or no that's not a conversion factor but we know that there are 55 milligrams of sodium oh yeah it is per can so we can say that there are 55 milligrams and it's really they're talking about sodium ion per one can but keep in mind we could say 55 milligrams of sodium per 12 fluid ounces because that's a can or we could say 55 milligrams of sodium per 355 milliliters of Dr. Pepper these are 12 fluid ounces of Dr. Pepper this is Dr. Pepper So these, what else do we have? That's it. So the only thing we can start with is the one pound of sodium. So 1.0 pounds of sodium. So we need to get from pounds of sodium to gallons of Dr. Pepper. Do we have any mass to volume conversion? <clears throat> yeah, here's milligrams of sodium to volumes of ones we wrote. Now, to just to kind of make it a little faster, since I'm going to gallons, that's an English unit of volume, I'm going to use fluid ounces. That way I don't have to go metric to English. So I am going to have to go English to metric here for the mass, however, because before I can use this conversion here, I have to have my mass of sodium in milligrams. So my first job is going to be to get that in the milligrams. One pound of sodium ion, 454 grams of sodium ion. And I know that in one gram, let's put in mind, there are 1,000 milligrams. Now we're in business. So up to this point, I was just getting this into milligrams. So now I can use this conversion. So 55 milligrams. Remember, I can flip this around however I need it. Of sodium is 12 fluid ounces. All right, so now let's check where I stand. Pounds of sodium, pounds of sodium, grams of sodium, grams of sodium, milligrams, milligrams, fluid ounces. I need to get to gallons. I don't know how many ounces there are in a gallon, but I do remember that there are 32 fluid ounces in one quart. And there are four quarts in one gallon. Bingo. Now I'm ready for action. Let's double check my units. Fluid ounces cancel. Fluid ounces, quarts, quarts, gallons. So I have 1.0 times 454 times 1,000 times 12 times, oh, I hit times again. One, I'll just do. Divided by just 55. Oh, and 32 and 4. Divided by 55, divided by 32, divided by 4 equals. Whoa! That's a lot. How many sig figs do I have? Uh, 55, so that's 2. My volume is good for 2. So it looks like 2 sig figs. So I'm in half. That's 773 gallons. So I have to put that in 2 sig figs with that ambiguous 0. So it's going to have to be 7.7 .7 times 10 to the second gallons of Dr. Pepper. 